Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I get some more work done on the video camera, the lens support bracket, I get basically that finished off. Um, my cousin Lily comes and she does the, the draw for the little vernier caliper. Hi, my name's Lily and I'm doing the Sunday draw for my Uncle John. This is the prize this week of vernier caliper. And the winner is... Chris... Is that a little video or something? Hello. Chris... Selby. Excellent. You want to wave bye? Bye. Thanks, Lil. That was great. All you have to do is send me your address and I'll get that posted off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I'm going to do another giveaway this week. This time it's going to be for a, a two-inch modern right micrometer. I'll get a close-up shot of that. Once again, it's something uh, Bob gave us to, to give away. The chronometer is in nice condition. I've got a test piece, I've set it up before it's posted off. Once again, Bob, thank you very much. If you want a chance at winning that micrometer, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email up there containing your name, your full name, like John knows, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. It's just a, a little way of me saying thanks for all the help I've had. I mean, I've got, I've got two of these. I've got a one I use, and I've got a one that's too good to use. So I certainly don't need another one. And Bob doesn't like Imperial, so it's going to be given away. If you win it and you do not want it or you can't use it, give it to someone that can. Anyway, well worth a go. Last weekend I was away with Richard um, with Central Steam Wagon in a steam rally at Masham. had a good weekend, the weather was fantastic. There was quite a few of my viewers come and said hello and shook my hand. It was really, was really nice to meet you. In the middle of last week I bought something I always wanted, a wooden engineer's toolbox. I was just in the right place at the right time and I saw it and I just bought it. Well, I just bought it there and then online and it was delivered. It must have pick it up and it's just what I thought it would be like. It's um, it's packed full with tools. I'll have a quick go through it with a camera and show you basically what's in there and then possibly later on we'll do a draw and turn and see what sort of tools is in there. Um, obviously this box has belonged to somebody who's made a living from that toolbox uh, so really it's a privilege to, to own it now. A lot of the tools in there I'll have doubles if they're better than the ones I've got. I'll keep them and I'll give mine away. Um, but the wooden box is definitely mine. I've always wanted one. <clears throat> now I've got one. It wants a little bit of repair work done on one or two of the handles, but basically it's a sound box. Right, this is the toolbox. It's had some right on the top, but it's actually faded. It's hard to tell what it does here. I haven't got the key. That's the first thing it's missing. one little handle missing off there I'm sure I'll be able to make one of them. The first draw I've got a nice piece of aluminium bar here that I can use for the base. It might be a little bit over engineered but as it will see and goes nothing too strong ever broke. So what I'll do is machine one end square first, decide how we're gonna mount it or where we're gonna mount it. That's the mounting hole on the bottom of the camera. It's a quarter UNC. Bolt goes in there and there's a little dowel in there to stop it twisting, but I won't need that because I'll be fastening through the front of there. So first thing is Miller machine, square one end up, go from there.
I need a small step machine on the end just to clear the base of the lens. Where I need the mountain bolt, which is going to be a quarter UNC bolt, which I'll probably have to make. I'm going to, instead of having a hole, I'm going to put a slot in, which means there will be a little bit of adjustment on it. This thing to do is to find the centre, I'm just going to use a, a wiggler and the eyeball method to, to do that. Put a six mil drill through first and then use a, a quarter inch mill cutter to do the slot. You can use these collets well that's how you can use these they are you can use these collets to hold drills equally as well as you can mill and cutters. I just want to make sure that, that is down properly on those two parallels. <laughs> that's that thing. Oh, John, man. I need to get a smaller dead blue armor. Spot on. Halfway through at first, it's going to be too hard. Oh, four, four inch side. the whole of the mountain under the camera. It needs to be quarter UNC and I can get I need 20 mil of thread.
de Dalla. Tout le monde s'est dit pour s'en aller. Voilà. Touch it off, and I can measure the 20 mil. The gold nut of the chalk. Once again, we'll just touch off 20 mil. Down a quarter inch. I'll just put a little lead on the end of there and then we'll put some threads on it. Amazing how you get Japanese cameras and they're all on computer threads on the on the mountain shoe and the mountain foot. Right, that'll be enough. These are really old dies, but the good quality English dies is putting a very, very nice thread on. I'm just going to stop and just put a little radius on the edge of that before I part it all the way off. A little radius here, it's a chamfer. Right, I've got safety goggles on because this little end mill has only got one ambition in there. Right, that's better. 
it's in between collar charges. I can't quite get enough enough crush on that one, but this one will certainly get it. Right, that's gone on quite nicely. The screw fits lovely. I'll be able to take some of this off, get shot of a little bit of the, the thickness and the, both sides in one bolt throw there into there. It'll be more than enough to stiffen it up and secure that lens. I need to drill and count the bore, a hole in there for 4mm. Possibly even 3 I think I might use 3 mil. I don't need one much below 4 but I'm going to bait the bullet and go for 3 mil. which is about there. Right, I'll just say it on 4mm. It's a 4mm drill to give us a, a clearance score. Change the belts on this mill. Right now, all I want is a counter sink drill to go in there so that the, the bolt head drops through. That's splendid, just a job. This Banggood parting tool never assists. This Banggood parting tool never believe me. You idiot man. This Banggood parting tool never ceases to believe me. Never ceases to believe me. What a bellyache. 